If you are looking for a noise reduction solution, DaVinci Resolve can be a good option. To follow along with this guide you have to know the basics of DaVinci's audio editing. If you need help with that you will find a link in the description. I will apply noise reduction to this audio clip. The audio waveform is not visible yet, so I will increase the height a bit. If you are using DaVinci 18, make sure you are dragging the audio track, not the bus. I will also make the timeline a bit bigger using this slider. Before starting the noise reduction process, let's hear the recording sample a bit. This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the... The volume of the recording is a bit low. I want to increase the volume before applying noise reduction to it. That way the noise can be heard clearly and we will understand how it will sound in the final production where we normalize it. I am increasing the volume by dragging this white line up. Volume should not be increased randomly this way for final export, but it is okay for finding out the best noise reduction settings. Once you find out the best noise reduction settings for the audio, the volume can be reset by double-clicking on the white line. This recording is done using the built-in microphone. I think volume can be increased more so it feels as louder as should be in final production. Though it should not be as loud as it reaches zero in this output meter. This recording is done using the built-in microphone. I think this loudness is okay and the hissing noise can be heard clearly. I have chosen this recording due to its loud hissing noise. That noise came from the AC unit running in the room. Let's see if DaVinci can reduce some of that noise. There are a couple of ways to add an effect in DaVinci. You can click the plus icon in effects and go to restoration. From Fairlight FX you can add noise reduction. Another way to add effects is the effects tab. You can drag and drop your favorite effect to the track. You have to be a bit careful while dropping the effect. If you drop in this region, it means you are applying the effect to the whole track. If you drop the effect in this region, that means you are applying the effect to this clip only. A track can be multiple clips side by side, and different clips can have different effects. I will add the effect to the track and that makes the effect management easier for the later time. I will close the effects tab to have some more space in the working area. A window had popped up when I added the noise reduction effect. This pop-up has all the controls you need for noise reduction. The purple line indicates the frequencies onto which the noise reduction will operate with the current settings. You can choose some predefined preset based on your noise type. These presets are not super important or super useful, but will get you started on how to reduce noise in DaVinci Resolve. The main takeaway from these presets is how they are changing these controls. If I fast forward the drop down changes, notice the threshold and dry wet knob are having different values and little change in the level knob. Other knobs are unchanged. We will see soon what each knob does. To reset all the changes you made in the effect settings, you can use this reset button. One of the useful features of it, the DaVinci, is the AB profiles in effect settings. You can set different values for settings, switch between A and B and compare which one is working best. DaVinci Resolve offers two modes of noise reduction, auto speech mode and manual mode. I will set auto speech mode for profile A and manual mode for profile B and compare. For auto speech mode DaVinci applies its own algorithm to differentiate between speech and noise. For manual mode, you have to give a noise sample through learn button. Even if you do not give any sample through learn button, it still applies its own intelligence. But the best result in manual mode can be achieved once you give a noise profile. Let's listen to both an auto speech mode and manual mode without any noise profile and without changing any settings. This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the noise reduction, built-in noise reduction of the Mac. So I think I will get quite some noise on this recording to show the demo in DaVinci. Auto speech mode is performing better in this situation. 
Let's now configure the manual mode the proper way. The first step in manual mode will be to give a noise-only sample to DaVinci. You will need a section of audio where you have only noise and no speech. It is a good practice to have such a recording at the beginning. If you do not have that kind of audio in the beginning, you can select a noise-only part from anywhere in the audio. The main thing about the noise-only selection is that noise is present in the spoken parts of the audio. I will select the noise-only part at the beginning and play it in the loop. While it is playing in the loop, I will click the Learn button and DaVinci will learn about the noise. Upon clicking, the Learn button became red and that means it is learning. Once it played upon the noise-only part, click Learn again to stop learning. In case you need help on how to play audio in the loop and DaVinci Resolve, you will get a link in the description. Let's now play and compare. This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the noise reduction, built-in noise reduction of the Mac. So I think I will get quite some noise on this recording to show the demo in DaVinci. After learning the noise profile, the manual mode is performing much better than last time. I will now adjust some of the settings while I play the audio in manual mode. I will play the part of the audio in the loop and adjust the settings. This way I can find out which value is best for these knobs for this particular piece of audio. Before doing that let me give a brief idea of what these knobs do. The threshold knob is for setting the noise level. The louder noise you have, the more threshold value you have to set. The attack is the time to act when noise is found. Default attack time works for most cases. Sensitivity sets how aggressive the noise reduction would be. Start with the default and slowly increase to see if noise is getting reduced but not damaging the voice quality. Keep the ratio as it is and let's now play and adjust. This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the Increasing threshold and sensitivity and dry wet value a bit produced the best audio for this sample. Also when the time smoothing was on it sounded better. Noise reduction can introduce some harshness. Time smoothing and frequency smoothing reduces those harshnesses. In my experience, default frequency smoothing and keeping time smoothing on works best. Dry wet means how much of your changes will apply overall. For example, dry means apply nothing and hence no noise reduction. Wet means applying all the changes 100%. Start with the default and increase slowly. Increasing any value too much degrades the audio quality. I will set some of these knobs to 100% and you will hear how it is affecting the voice. This recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the noise reduction, built-in noise reduction of the Mac. So I think 
this recording is done using the built-in microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the noise reduction built-in noise reduction of the Mac so I think I will get quite some noise on this recording to show that demo in DaVinci it started sounding better when I started reducing the knobs from 100% you can listen to only noise using this checkbox that way you will be able to hear if any desired sound is considered noise and you can adjust the settings. You can close this pop-up and that means it will apply the settings the way you set them the last time. From the inspector tab, you can see your applied effects. Like the last time I checked noise only, it is checked here. I can also change settings from here. microphone of my MacBook and I have disabled the applied effects on a track are also visible in the effects you can open the settings by clicking here you can also disable the effect by clicking the small red dot here now the effect became inactive as it is grayed out also in the settings pop-up we can see it is off and we can turn it on. So there are multiple places to do the same things in DaVinci Resolve. For noise reduction, you have to find the best settings for a piece of audio based on the basics I discussed in this video. Thanks for watching and see you next.